Clark made this quote. Um, what does it all mean? Where we figured this out? Are there other people who have also figured this out? Uh, we, we don't know. Um, are there people out there uh, that are able to do what we've done? We don't know. But um, it, it seems that in this universe, or sorry, I should say in this galaxy, there doesn't seem to be any evidence or anything whatsoever to suggest that there's anybody else out there. As far as we know, and perhaps this is the way we should operate, we're the only ones. That the universe is here because we're here. The universe was made for us. Perhaps that's the way we should operate. Why not? Because the reality is we have no evidence to suggest there's anybody else enjoying this place. Until that happens, we should operate on this premise. And this is the direction that a lot of the top astrophysicists who you'll see on YouTube and all these different DVDs and things like that, this is what they're all saying. They're all coming around to the conclusion that we need to sort of say, wait a minute, this is the only place we've got and we're it. Stephen Hawking believed that there may, be, may have been as many as 10 other civilizations like ours in this galaxy. Which would mean that if there's a 100 billion galaxies, there are 100 billion times 10, that's 10 hundred billion other civilizations just like us, but we have zero evidence. So why don't we walk around this planet thinking, this is the only one we've got, let's take care of it. Let's talk about plastic. Let's talk about fossil fuels. Let's talk about climate. Let's talk about caring for this place. Let's talk about caring for each other and not getting so upset about the trivial little things that we worry about when we, when we recognize that the stars are virtually forever. And we are a mere 80 or 90 years, a fleeting moment in the lifespan of a star. And we spend our time uselessly arguing, chasing after our toils and troubles. Maybe we should look to the stars and say, no, what we should do is we should more live like a star. And as I said on my Facebook page recently, why don't we spend time like a star? Well, why don't we spend more time spreading warmth, gathering each other around in a gravitational wall. Why don't we spend more time extending our, our, our influence and bringing people in instead of pushing people out? Maybe that's what the universe should get us to do.